Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. So, as you can probably tell, I don't film a lot. Uh, I'm using my Instagram, but today's a special day. The Friday before my next meet. So this is the last squat session I'm really gonna have. And I've been following like a six week peak week thing, like program, and then I haven't been, it's been crazy. So I've just kind of been just squatting around, deadlifting around and benching around. So pretty workout. Um, I've been hurt for the past four months, five months this month, Today's November 1st, so five months today for my last meet, which I got hurt my last meet off a squat. You can see I I grinded it out. It was awful. Um, for the backstory on that, they said I was, I almost didn't hit parallel on the squat beforehand, so I sunk it my last one. I sunk it real deep and I kind of got stuck and I had to like grind my way out of it, which sucked, but I got it. But then I went back and watched the video and it didn't look like I was high at all. So I don't know. Either way, fucked up my <clears throat> my SI joint. I got a bulging disc. So I've been doing a lot of stretching and a lot of bullshit. So um, today I'm gonna try to hit 315 on squats. All right, two things. I'm happy with the squat session. I got 275 for three. I was like, cool, I was gonna end it there. And I was like, now nah, I am going to try this 315. But man, when I took it off the bar, my legs were shaking. It's been, you know, June, June 30th was my last like big squat. And I was so fucking nervous, but it was a little high. I still think it would have counted, but it was high and the angle was bad. So, but it looked like I did drop below parallel just for like a quarter of a second. Probably not even that, but what I was more afraid of is actually coming back up, if it was gonna fuck my back up even more or what, but end up getting it, got it up. Um, since I haven't meet next year, I didn't go like full bore today. Just kind of did my squats, leg press, and then walked on the treadmill for a little bit, so. This is pretty much what I eat every meal. Steak and veggies, usually rice. I didn't feel like making rice though. So, but this guy staring at me. And this guy too. <laughs> so, I went to uh, the dollar store. Don't be sleeping on the dollar store, okay, guys? But check it out. That's what they got now <clears throat> Epsom salts with lavender. One buck. You get one buck, 16 ounces, so you could probably get a good one to two baths out of this for a dollar. There's a lot of good stuff at the Dollar Tree. Um, if you want like crappy multivitamins, all that good stuff, or Epsom salts. Uh, they got heating pads and cold pads for a dollar. I mean, you can't beat that, so. Tomorrow, I think I want to try to deadlift, depending on how my back feels. My back feels good after squatting today, so. Um, we'll see, but I want to get this soak in and then probably head to bed. So thanks for watching guys. I know it was probably a boring video, but we'll just keep grinding them out. All right. Meat is in seven days.